Here we go. Pollster Frank Luntz and uh, Democrat who's in charge of not Facebook, not LinkedIn, but uh, another one of those. His name is, um, where is he? Mark ben- ben- Benioff, uh, a liberal who owns one of these massive uh, tech companies. And he's obviously a Harris supporter and Harris donor. He he took this Time Magazine article that came out today and said the and highlighted a couple lines that are damning against Kamala. Because uh, every year Time Magazine interviews the uh, both candidates. Trump did an interview with them, and then they put here, Harris declined repeated requests for an interview for the story, Time Magazine writes. In contrast, Trump talked about his policy vision with a Time reporter for 90 minutes across two interviews. Biden spoke to Time a similar length before dropping out of the race. She did not, and uh, it's damning. What else? We find out from another report that Democrats' voter registration the shift is so bad that it is very concerning. Pollster Frank Luntz uh, truncating it, putting a link to it on his Twitter feed and tweeting out Democrats voter registration advantage has dropped in three key battleground states, Pennsylvania, North Carolina and Nevada. So it goes on and on and on, but there's more and it's bad. This voter registration shift. Let me share that with you today from The Hill. Democrat voter registration raises red flags for Harris. The advantage for the Democrats in voter registration has dropped in the three key battleground states, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Nevada, raising a red flag for Harris. Experts cite a lack of enthusiasm for the Biden administration and the Democrat Party in general. In Arizona, Republicans have seen their voter registration advantage increase substantially. In Nevada, Democrats have seen their voter registration advantage drop. Democrats down 300,000 voters in Nevada compared to Republicans being up 70,000. A declining Democrat voter registration in some parts of Pennsylvania driven by disenchantment with the party in power in Washington. My buddy Eric Erickson writing today, usually he writes the press corps and Democrats know Trump is on a trajectory to win, as I've been telling you. He says, usually at this time of the year, Republicans are telling themselves to, to unskew polls and stop looking at them. Axios, however, today reporting tensions are rising between Biden and Harris teams. We would not be hearing this stuff from the team if they felt confident, Erickson says. The progressives at New Republic sounding the alarm that Trump could win. The normal quiet voices Democrats use internally to redirect resources have turned into yelling and screaming to the press. He says, this is when, and I tweeted this uh, hours ago, this is when the wheels start falling off of campaigns. There are realistically two weeks left to make adjustments, uh, any adjustments, and only just over a week to make meaningful adjustments. They got a week. And Harris is on a downward trajectory, as I've been telling you that for a week now. More and more Republicans, my buddy writes, and Democrats both say the internal polling, which is deeper and more accurate, shows Trump starting to pull away from Harris in the Sun Belt. He and Republican candidates in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania are now starting to show momentum. This is not good news for the Democrats. She can still win, my buddy writes, but it's starting to seem that more and more of them realize she won't. She can win, but her campaign does not seem to be doing what it needs to do. Let me pause it right there. Do you think things are looking down for the Democrats' chances of electing Kamala Harris? As I do. And why do you think early voting is down? And I'm going to give you more details that are not good for Democrats at all, because they usually do like three to one uh, voting, early voting, and it's way down. I'll give you the numbers in a moment. We're talking the most important states. It's way down. So do you think things are looking down for the Democrats' chances of winning or uh, of uh, electing Kamala? Why do you think the early voting is down? Is Kamala done? Is she stick a fork in her done? That's how I'm feeling right now. But then I know, deep in the back of my mind, that it can change. And then go on the wrong trajectory for us in that last week or two. You just don't ever know. But right now, I'd say she's done. She stick a fork in her done. She even agreed in desperation to do uh, Brett Baer's uh, show. It'll air Wednesday on Fox News. She's going to be go- first time ever she's going on Fox News. Um, also, are Biden and Clinton attacking Kamala on purpose or by accident? Did you hear that? Clinton, I'll play it for you in a second. Clinton blamed Biden and Harris for R- Lake and Riley's death for not vetting the illegal from Trinidad Agua that killed her, according to the authorities. Uh, 800-288-WBAP is our number. Line's wide open for you right now. 800-288-9227. Do you think things are looking down for Democrats for Kamala's chances of winning? Why do you think early voting is down? 
Is Kamala done? Is she stick a fork in her done? And are Biden and Clinton attacking Kamala on purpose or by accident? There's two separate things they've both done. Clinton blamed her, her and Joe for not vetting Lake and Riley's murderer, accused murderer from Trinidad Agua for, for uh, not vetting him. They let him in two years ago and then he killed, killed that woman, according to authorities. 800-288-WBAP is our number. Chime in right now. Got lots of several lines open and lots of time to talk to you. 800-288-9227. Chime in right now. Okay, let me continue on. My buddy writing that just consider Walls' pheasant hunt. You have to hear the pheasant hunt. This is fantastic. Here it is. He cannot, he, he, he supposedly goes pheasant hunting all the time and he's a hunter and he loves his guns, right? Here he is not being able to load his shotgun that he supposedly hunts with. That's my theory, and it never fits quite right. It never fits quite right. It's just not quite right. How do you give it back? You can't. Governor, what kind of gun is it? This is a Beretta A400. I brought. I bought it when I was shooting a lot of uh, trap because it has a kind of their patented thing a kick off. So when you get old, yeah, it doesn't hurt your shoulders. Much. One of uh, one of uh, a guy who Jesse, uh, what's his name, Jesse Waters is friends with, said that he, who uh, knows those kinds of guns and how they load. He says that it's he's literally got it. He's loading it from the wrong side. Like as far as he's using the wrong hand with loading the you know the right thing, and and clearly he doesn't know how to load his own shotgun. The poor fella, and he didn't bag a pheasant. He didn't even they, they show him out there, but they, I don't even even want hunting. Apparently he didn't bag anything. So my buddy writes, just consider uh, Wall's pheasant hunt 22 days to go trying to get shotgun owners to vote for them. How about the ad for men? Did you hear this emasculating, embarrassing, horrifying ad for men that uh, they they had um, that they aired? It's unbelievable. I'll play that for you, too. Oh, here it is right here. I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Women. I'm not afraid of women. I'm not afraid of women. They want to control their bodies? I say go for it. They want to use IVF to start a family? I'm not afraid of families. They want to be childless cat ladies? Have all the cats you want. Woman wants to be president? Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full-throated endorsement. Because I'm man enough to support women. Man enough to know what kind of donuts I like. Man enough to admit I'm lost even when I refuse to ask for directions. Man enough to not ban young women from reading Little Women. Or one of those pants books that the sisters like. I'm man enough to raw dog a flight. It sucked. Not worth it. How embarrassing is that? Those are actors. Um, that is, this is uh, very, they, they, those men emasculated themselves. I hope they were paid a lot. All right, here's my questions again is, uh, do you think things are looking down for the Democrats' chances of electing Kamala? Why do you think early voting is uh, so far down, especially in the swing states? And is Kamala done? Is, is it, uh, is she stick a fork in her done? And are Kamala, excuse me, are Biden and Clinton attacking Kamala on purpose or by accident? You'll hear about uh, those two in just a sec. Early voting, early voting is very, very down, like very low, significantly. That is also horrifying for the Democrats because they're the ones that early vote. I told you about that, but I'm going to give the specifics on that coming up next. Also, what major, 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 the biggest swing state, um, uh, the biggest newspaper in the entire swings in one entire swing state one swing state that trump can really really use to win their largest newspaper in that state has endorsed trump today which which is pretty shocking it's a democrat town i'll tell you which one it is and what they say it is damning to kamala that's coming up next on the chris croc show at uh 817 on news talk 820 wbap and now on fm at 933 800 288 wbap is our number 800 288 Look, you all know it. We can't have four more years of this. We won't have four more years of it. We won't. Four more years of Kamala? No! We cannot have four more years of Harris and Biden. Did you hear the the crowd kind of gasping? Did you? Producer Garrett, too, did you or no? Yeah, here we go. He wants me to play it again. Listen closely. Look, you all know it. We can't have four more years of this. We won't have four more years. Did you hear that? Oh, all right. I'll stop. Here, I'm sorry. I got to stop commenting over it. 
Look, you all know it. We can't have four more years of this. We won't have four more years of it. We won't. Look, you all know it. All right. We can't have four more years. I'm hearing some audible gasps in there. He is too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what's happening. This guy's a disaster. They picked the wrong guy. Well, actually, she did because she didn't want to pick the Jew who would actually want it for her and would have won Pennsylvania for it for her. Let me share some other things with you that are damning. My question is at 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. On News Talk 820 WBAP and now on FM at 93.3. My question for you is, do you think things are looking down for the Democrats' chances of electing Kamala? And why do you think early voting is way down? I'm going to give you those numbers in a sec. And is Kamala done? Like, stick a fork in her done? And are Biden and Clinton attacking Kamala today on purpose or by accident? 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Here is Bill Clinton attacking the Harris-Biden administration for allowing Lincoln Riley's murder in. Oops. Do you understand that Bill Clinton indicted Kamala Harris, Border Czar, and Joe Biden right there? Because this guy came in two years ago and wasn't vetted. He's from Trinidad, and Kamala and Joe let him in. Ouch. Ouchity, ouch, 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 right? 800-288-WBAP is our number. Lines wide open. Chime in right now. Hey, uh, Las Vegas Review Journal. In a major swing state newspaper I was telling you about has endorsed Donald Trump. Listen, that's a Democrat town. The mayors of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, for years have mostly been Democrat. The the, uh, state of Nevada has been mostly Democrat. But all of a sudden, the Review Journal said today, although many voters are dissatisfied with their choices for president, the policy results of Trump's years in office are too strong to ignore. From job creation to national security, Trump delivered real results and benefited the nation. Meanwhile... Senior data analyst from CNN, Harry Enten, sounded the alarm for Harris Walls today, or yesterday, Sunday, revealing there are more registered Republicans in the U.S. than our, than our Democrats for the first time since the 80s. More registered Republicans than Democrats. This gives GOP the edge in party identity, voter registration nationwide, and swing states where most people, uh, where most polls show the race is too close to call. Continuing on, Enten said this is a Democrat margin among black men among Uh, age 45 in the presidential election. Here's the Democrat margin. You go back to November 2012, he says. What do you see? Obama in young black men at uh, at the age of 45. Obama is up 81%. Clinton won them by 63%. Biden won them by 53%. Kamala, only 41 points is she leading with black men age 45. It went from 81 under Obama to 63 under Clinton to 53 under Biden to 41 under her. She has half of what Biden had in black men of age 45. You understand that? Half. And she had 12 points less than Biden had among black men 45. Black men overall, Obama won them by 85. Okay, black men overall, Obama won by 85 points. 71 points was the victory of margin for black men and Bill Clinton. 69 points for Biden. Kamala has only 54 points with all black men versus Biden, 15% higher. The woman has 15 points with black men less than Biden, has uh, almost 20 points less than Clinton, and has almost 30 points, has, has 31 points less than Obama. What's the deal? I got more, more damning stats. NBC News has damning stats. And then the damning news about early voting is down significantly. I'll give you those statistics. It looks bad for Kamala. Also coming up next in the Chris Croc Show, Trump gets the unanimous endorsement from the Border Patrol Union, National Border Patrol Council, um, and much more. Coming up next on the Chris Croc Show and News Talk 820 WBAP. And now on FM at 93.3. Do not miss... What we have coming up next, plus a Daily Mail election model, is moving in Trump's favor. I'll give you the details on that, too, coming up at 33 after the hour on The Chris Crock Show on News Talk 820 WBAP. And now on FM at 93.3, 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227.
We asked about President Biden's policies. Are they helping or hurting your family? Just a quarter of voters said they're helping. Nearly half said they're hurting. And then here's the interesting twist. We also asked folks, think back to when Donald Trump was president. Did his policies help or hurt your family? And look at the difference. 44 percent helping, 31 hurting. Trump's the the retrospective, you would say, opinion of Trump's presidency among voters, arguably higher now than when he was president. Rut row Rastro. It is not looking good for Kamala today. Uh, that's from last week, and now this th- that soundbite's from from t- today, but um, today or yesterday. But last week it was bad. In fact, it was the worst week of the campaign that they had had. Dana Perino said that last week, and I agree, and I've been telling you that. Today, it continues to go badly for her, and she only has three weeks left. And really, that last week is is not going to do anything. So she's got two weeks, and as my buddy Eric Erickson wrote today. Uh, he's he's the one who reads the tea leaves and knows all the gritty, political, boring stuff, then interprets it better than I do, and I can. And he says that really she has one week to do anything drastic because uh, that's it. That's really it. And uh, so here we are. And I don't think they're, they're, they always have dirty things up their sleeves, but I don't think that I'm telling you right now. I told you last week that I think uh, Trump is going to win by a, uh, a a solid margin, not a big, huge margin, not even a, a, a like whoa margin, but just solidly beating her where it just can't be cheated out. All the all the uh, possible cheating uh, that could go on uh, won't be able to affect it because it'll be too solid of a lead. And I think that's the same thing today, maybe even slightly more. Let me share why I feel this way. It's a, it's an amalgamation of several things. Uh, Daily Mail uh, election model has moved lean to lean Trump for the first time as he edges Harris in swing states. Um, New polling data. It's a result of new polling data showing that uh, Harris national lead has shrunk or evaporated altogether. And uh, multiple swing states now showing he has a narrow lead in most of the battlegrounds that will decide who wins. Uh, when those numbers are all fed into the Daily Mail's exclusive prediction model, it shows Trump would claim the overall win in 62.4% of their simulations. Last week, it was at the end of last week, it was 59.8. So it's gone up almost three full points in their model. The new numbers, the Daily Mail says, suggest the momentum is with him, Trump, rather than the vice president. And it shifts the overall result and toss up to lean Trump. Even so, she has almost 40 percent chance of victory in their polling that this this prediction, meaning the election could still be one of the closest in history. Um, Also, their uh, data guy for this poll says key polls included the New York Times surveys, giving Trump a five to six point lead in Arizona, with Harris holding a three to four point lead in Pennsylvania. Uh, Another poll showing Trump on a two point lead in Pennsylvania. Now. The the I want to go back to the black men and black women data. Our number is 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. And this is News Talk 820 WBAP and now on FM at 93.3. Uh, chime in right now at 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227, asking you, do you think things are looking down for the Democrats' chances of getting Kamala elected? And why do you think early voting is down? Is Kamala done? Is she stick a fork in me done? I'm starting to feel that way because she's such a terrible candidate. She tripped over herself to finally say, "Okay, I'll I'll let Brett Baer interview me on Wednesday. That will air. And he is not going to play patty cake with her. He's a very nice guy, but he's not going to play patty cake with her. I think it'll be the best interview yet. I truly do. And are Biden and Clinton attacking Kamala on purpose or by accident? Today, he was blaming her uh, and uh, and Biden for uh, allowing Lincoln Riley's murder in the country. Um, But here's the black people. I want to go back over this really quickly. Black men under the age of 45. Kamala is down 12 points from where Joe Biden was four years ago. And black men under 45, 12 point loss. Black men overall, she's down 15 points compared to Joe Biden. Black women, she's down 14 points. Dude, she's way worse than Joe Biden with black men, women, and and youngin. Wow, huh? Wow. Wow. And then a plagiarism hunter busted her. Did you know that? Oh, today. Uh, You can see it on my Twitter feed. Dr. Stefan Weber called the plagiarism hunter bust Kamala Harris in her book. Quote, she copied virtually an entire Wikipedia article and fabricated a source reference. The 2009 book that she wrote um, uh, per Wikipedia uh, was published as Harris 
um, excuse me, at first published as Harris was beginning her 2010 campaign for California Attorney General. In the summary of findings, Dr. Weber writes, Kamala Harris copied virtually an entire Wikipedia article into her book without providing an attribution to Wikipedia. Most damning is that, quote, he says Harris fabricated a source reference inventing a non-existent, non-existent page number. It comes two months after the Harris campaign was caught plagiarizing Joe Biden's campaign site by copying and pasting his pages onto her page. And you can see the the word for word, several paragraphs just directly lifted and put into her 2009 book. Uh, I'll get to early voting in a second. It's very much down. Let me share a few details on it. Early voting, the New York Post uh, reports today, is down significantly compared to four years ago. It holds bad news for Democrats. The data does. For example, in 2020, early voting compared to 2020 is down 45 points. Virginia, it's down 4% from the last election in 2020. The bigger news, the Post says, is the significant decline in requests for mail ballots. They are down to 58% from the 20, from 2020 in the states that don't send mail ballots to all voters. So 58 percentage points lower in asking for mail-in ballots. The drop is especially steep in Georgia and North Carolina. Declines... Of 84% and 75% respectively. These are like two to one or three to one Democrat people that have mail-in. It's down 59% in Wisconsin, down 36% in Pennsylvania, down 24 in Wisconsin. Biden, can't, listen, here's, here's why the, how important this is and why this is bad for the Democrats, horrible for the Democrats. Ready? Biden carried Pennsylvania because he got a 1.4 million vote advantage with absentee votes. Joe Biden got 1.4 million mail-in vote ballots in Pennsylvania. Today, for Kamala, the ballots sent in for Pennsylvania are down tremendously. Uh, They're down 36%. So can you you imagine Joe Biden losing 36% of his 1.4 million vote advantage? Because Trump, it was just enough to let him survive Donald Trump's 1.3% Three million vote lead. Hear that? He uh, Biden got 1.4 million in mail-in ballots. Trump got 1.33 um, uh, with his uh, election day ballots in person. Look at that, guys! It was mail-in ballots that defeated uh, Bill uh, that defeated Trump supposedly in 2020 in Pennsylvania. That is not the case. It's 36 percent less this year. Wow, huh? All right. I'm trying to make it easy for you because it's radio. You can't, I can't hold something up or show it to you. 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Let's go to Trey and Duncanville, WBAP. What's up, my man? Yes, sir. I was just wondering if really, uh, Harris really ever had a chance of really winning this thing for several reasons. Uh, you know, when Biden came into office, he signed that executive order to do away with the Keystone Pipeline. I know that costs a lot of people jobs up in uh, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, mm-hmm. well, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. And then with all this electric vehicle stuff, I know that's ruined a lot of people's jobs in the car industry up in Michigan. So, so you're kind of thinking that people. they weren't going to vote for her nearly as much anyways because she's not palatable to most people that are uh, right. Democrats or independents. Well, because she's negatively affecting their economy, or well, Biden did, and she's you know hooking on. She's joined at the end mm. with them. Trey, and, and I just think. Well, I, was say, I think what Carville said, you know, it's the economy, stupid, and people are always going to vote their pocketbooks. Well, Tim Wallace was right when he said this earlier today at a speech just a couple hours ago. Look, you all know it. We can't have four more years of this. We won't have four more years of it. We won't. Look, you all know it. All right, there he is. We can't take four more years of it, Trey. It's too much. Well, uh, two, four years of Kamala Joe, too much. Can't do it. We we can't. Well, I can't agree with him more. Uh, no, I, sir, know. I cannot agree with him anymore. Yeah. Look, yeah. you have a wonderful and blessed day, sir. You Thank too, you. brother. Thank you. All right. You, do I have time for Gregory or in the next one? It's up to you. Okay, uh, Gregory Southlake, you are first out of the box next, plus your call, guys, at 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Kamala is so desperate now, she is looking to bribe black men. With what? It's insulting to the to the tilt. You're not going to believe what she's saying. I'll give you this, I'll give you that, and you can do more of this. It's a horrible message to send a black man about how she thinks of them. Horrible. You hear what it is that she says she's going to give him uh, and help him with if you elect her coming up next on the Chris Crock Show on News Talk K20 WBAP. And now on FM at 933, 800 288 WBAP is our number 800 288 9227.
We asked about President Biden's policies. Are they helping or hurting your family? Just a quarter of voters said they're helping. Nearly half said they're hurting. And then here's the interesting twist. We also asked folks, think back to when Donald Trump was president. Did his policies help or hurt your family? And look at the difference. 44 percent helping, 31 hurting. Trump's the, the retrospective, you would say, opinion of Trump's presidency among voters, arguably higher now than when he was president. He's not being transparent with the voters. He's not being transparent. So check this out. He refuses to release his medical records. I've done it. He is unwilling to do a 60 Minutes interview. He is unwilling to meet for a second debate. It makes you wonder, why does his staff want him to hide away? Are they afraid that people will see that he is too weak and unstable to lead America. Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. Uh, for prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. Hell no, I don't want my taxpayer dollars going I, to that. Kamala supports transgender sex changes in jail with our money. Kamala even supports letting biological men compete against our girls in their sports. Kamala is for they, them. President Trump is for you. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. That's pretty powerful, isn't it? Excellent work. That was Charlemagne the God uh, going off on her. It's pretty good, huh? Well, um, first of all, it's uh, News Talk 820 WBAP and now on FM at 93.3. Our number is 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. And things are looking very much down for Kamala right now. And I think as of now, it continues, like I said last week, to go on a trajectory that she is going to lose. And I think she's going to get worse and worse and worse. I, I really do think there's a good chance Brett Bear will hold her to the fire. He will be so nice about it, but he will grill her hard. I think that she's going to look like a fool when he does the right questions and won't just let go. Although after the he, they do that uh, seemingly obligatory after the second or third try, you just let it go and you know move on and let the voters decide. But um, this is going to be interesting. It won't be wild, but it'll be, be very interesting. Last but not least, I wanted to share. Kamala wants to get black men. She's tremendously down. Under 45 uh, black men, black men in general, and black women down. She is tremendously down. Even down 14 points from where Biden was with black women alone. Hugely down with black men under, 40, well, under 45 and black men in general. I read you the stats. But yet she's trying to bribe them by saying, oh, every you, you black men, all you do, you relate to me, right? Um, all you guys do is smoke weed. So I'm going to legalize weed. That literally is what, quote, she'll uh, nationalize, uh, she will uh, rec- na- legalize recreational marijuana across the country and give create forgivable loans only for black men in a bid to get black men out to vote. Smoke weed and go run a business. Here's some free money. I, if, you, if I'm black and I'm a man and she's trying to get me and I'm still in the middle, I'm like, I'd be offensive. All you do is smoke weed. Here's some money and go smoke your weed. That's all you are to me. A New York Times poll last week showed 70% of black male voters backing Harris and 20% backing Trump. Ouch. Harris was significantly down from the 7, 85% who backed Joe Biden. So she's lost 15% of the black men. Compared to Biden, that's stunning. In a stark intervention last week, a former president, Hussein Obama, urged black men to vote for Democrat nominee. Remember when he was shaming black men? I played that for you last week. Harris is now unveiling an opportunity agenda for black men. That's literally the quote. This poor woman is is uh, pandering so poorly, so badly, and so desperately. All right, let's go to Gregory, who's called, and we have uh, four lines open. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227. Do you think things are looking down for the Democrats' chances of getting Kamala elected? Why do you think early voting is down so much, which is uh, heavily Democrat uh, usually, but it's so down right now, the, the numbers. And is Kamala done? Is she sick a fork and her done? And are Biden and Clinton attacking Kamala on purpose or by accident? Clinton saying that uh, the illegal that murdered Lincoln Riley, Lincoln Riley, that's accused of murdering her, uh, was not vetted properly. And that's why she got in. I got he got in and why she's dead. Oops. Biden also was doing some jabbing and Axios today reporting a bad looking report for uh, Kamala and the Democrats. It uh, their report was saying there was there's a lot of friction behind the scenes between Team Biden and Team Harris because of the lack of communication, feeling slighted, 
because uh, Biden came out four times and, and contradicted her or did a press conference as she was trying to have a press conference. Hold, and she doesn't hold press conferences, but trying to have an event and give out one of her speeches. Tensions rise, Axios wrote today, liberal uh, news outlet. Tensions rise between Harris and Biden teams as election nears. Ten people familiar with the situation told this to Axios. Quote, the White House has been increasingly fraught in the final weeks before Election Day. There's too much feelings, quote unquote. There's much more, but they're there. It's like a, a peeing match, if you will, behind the scenes. Gregory in South Lake, you're on WBAP. Hey, Chris, I, I think if Brett Baer does his job, then then it'll be a stick a fork in her kind of done. But the interesting thing I'm, I'm hearing about is I'm hearing there's some uh, big uh, uh, scandal brewing about walls. And uh, another what what did you hear about it? Anything? I mean, other than him saying he's friends with schools, he's friends with school shooters. He couldn't loan a shotgun uh, today that he says he uses to go hunting with. And he also said that we can't. He said again today, we can't have four more years of this. Go ahead. Well, that that was that that was another stunning uh, mistake he's made multiple times. But but here's the thing. I think it has something to do with his business with China. Or something with China, because there was a, a another pundit on another Fox radio station yeah. was talking, said Friday night or Sunday night before his show ended. He says there's this big scandal brewing about Waltz, but he's not going to break it. And then today, Fox News had their had. I think his name is Gordon Chang. Yeah, yeah, I know Gordon Chang. He's been on my show. Uh, he's a great right, guy. He's right, a he's a China on, expert. He's an expert on China. Yeah. Right. Right. He's our China boffin. Yes. And and talking about, uh, again, about how uh, his uh, travel business to China, to China, could never have survived on its own. So I'm wondering if somebody I'm wondering if it's going to be an October surprise, but it's going to be from the Republicans against him. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Are you hearing anything? No, no. I got a roll. But thank you for your call. And I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it at all. Uh, you may have been talking about my friend Ben Ferguson, who hosts his show on Sunday nights uh, and has for years. Um, our number is 800-288-WBAP. Is our number 800-288-9227. Coming up next, Trump receives the unanimous endorsement from the Border Patrol National Union. Clinton blames uh, Biden Harris for Lake and Riley's death. Training de agua at New York uh, illegal migrant shelters targeted, targeting Times Square, and they're getting away with it. We're going to get into this and how big of a deal it is um, that this happened today, and this is happening and you know on illegal immigration this uh, horrible horrible uh destruction of our country that she and biden have wrought on us expecting another four years after this of that